and we have we have a question here from Becky Kendall. Now this is not a, a video against this person. This is the general statement. Uh, it's, it's a generic question, and I'm going to give a generic answer. So it's not in particular this person. This could just be a troll account because some random people. Anyway, so Becky Kendall says, I've never seen someone so obsessed with working out. Don't you have any other hobbies or interests? Sure we all eat, sure we work out, but is that all you do? Kind of boring. Here's the thing, Becky. I don't fucking work out. I live. I've never had a driver's license. I'm 39, 40 in a couple of months. And so all you... I mean, man, this is fucking hilarious. You fat, porky, slow slugs who want to have a dig at cyclists because we use our bodies... Instead of our cars, we burn fat instead of oil. It's people like you that fuel the Iraqi crisis going on, where we drop bombs on innocent women and children so we can get more oil to drive our fucking FUZ, F, FUZs, our SUVs to fucking KFC. Yes, we use oil. There's oil used in the manufacture of everything, my jersey, my computer. But how much oil do we use in our fucking cars when we could ride bikes? Think about it, you fat, dumb fuck. Someone could be skinny and still dumb as fuck because their brain's got too much fat cloud in their thought process. Their neocortex is solidified in rancid fats. To type comments like that, don't you do that? Hey, I like being lean and I love feeling fast and fit. That feels good, but you wouldn't have a clue what that feels like because you're a lazy motherfucker. That's all you are. You're a lazy motherfucker. You drive your car to the corner store to pick up some milk and chicken. Oh no, I couldn't grab Reagan because I wouldn't get enough protein. I'm driving my car, I'm texting in traffic, I couldn't be, oh, I'm doing it, are you obsessed? I'm driving this in my fucking car, you slazy, slack fuck. Sell your car, get on the fucking bike, make a difference, stop being part of the problem, stop being part of the solution. I don't work out, man. I'll fucking move my motherfucking body because I'm grateful I've got two arms and two legs and the freedom to do so every motherfucking day of my life. I'm grateful I've got the freedom to choose what lifestyle I want to live. I don't make up excuses, well, I don't have all day to train and do work. I fucking create my life and I suggest you do that. So you stop being a whining fucking drain bow who just wants to justify your complacency all over social media. So you are. You're like not a social justice warrior. You're a social media complacency justifier. And you don't like me and other people because we actually prove to you that your bullshit lies you tell yourself every day when you wake up are just that. Bullshit lies. You can do what we're doing. You just don't want to do it because you're motherfucking lazy. Or you're so, your self-esteem so low you don't believe you can do it. Right? So again, this video is not aimed at one person. This is a, a psychology that is inbuilt into say status quo. We're fucking drones and sheeple where we just walk around butt sniffing people who can give us a shout out or more money, and then we want us to get to their level. Like, oh, I don't know you. All this crazy nonsense, man. So that's what I recommend, Becky. Not even Becky. That's what I recommend anyone out there who's just been a shit cunt loser who wants to drive a car to the corner store instead of ride a bike. I was too dangerous to ride a bike and drive my car. I'm going gonna, gonna to be part of this problem versus part of the solution. Get off your fat fucking lazy ass. Get on a motherfucking bike. Sell your car. Get rid of your car. Or use it very, 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 very infrequently. Burn fat, not oil. Don't work out. Burn fat, not oil. Does that make sense? I worked in the gym industry back in 99. I was the first spin instructor in South Australia. I quit because people were driving their cars for, to go to my spin class. And I'm thinking, these motherfuckers want to burn fat. And they're burning oil to come to my class to burn fat. And I'm like, hey, what you can do on the weekend actually just go ride your bike with your friends and family. Or start riding your bike to work and you won't have to come to my class. And people would thought I was joking. I was being dead fucking serious. In the end, I had to quit the job. I couldn't do it. I've been a, a circuit instructor. This dude's got a fucking braced up shoulder or braced up knee. Or some lady's hobbling along. I'm like, hey, you should probably maybe don't do the class so you've been injured. And they're like, yeah. And they would come and complain to my boss and Harley isn't pushing me hard enough. And I tell the boss, this person's got an injury. They're going to get fucking shoulder recon. And the boss is like, Harley, this is the gym industry. Dumb fucks just want to burn calories. All right? Don't tell them otherwise. Just do what they want you to do. And I had to quit that job as well. I can't lie to people. It's bullshit. So all you fucks out there who say we're obsessed, obsessed is what the motherfucking lazy, undercarb, KFC guzzling, F-U-C, F-U-C, S-U-V, fat-wristed, happy mill face motherfuckers call us the dedicated. So just to make sure on the same fucking page, stop being a lazy motherfucker, polluting the environment, running over people's cats and kids, inflicting danger on other people, pedestrians and cyclists and fellow road users. Get out of your fucking car, get on your bike, fucking do it. Don't work out ever again, never ever again. Burn fat, not oil. Stop being a lazy, complacent, adipathetic mother motherfucker. 
place.